on standing on one million lives finale. This episode was totally devoted to um, Yotsuya, right? Kasi matindi yung pagkaka affected siya ng husto sa pagkakapatay niya sa taong yun, right? Sa kabilang mundo. <clears throat> Then, uh, the Game Master, through email, so, so, suddenly gives him a, a quest. Kumbaga, oh, pigilan mo ito. Oh, patay mo itong tao to. <clears throat> So, yun pala, meron pa, meron pa lang gusto rin pumatay dito sa taong to. Ano siya eh, uh, dahil siya drug dealer. Uh, magkapatid. So, instead of assisting them, He stops them from killing that from killing that guy. <clears throat> so he felt na well, he's completed the quest. Yung pala, yung yung papatay sana to sa drug dealer na yon, magiging kasama nila yung panganay. All right? <clears throat> so the final scene has been devoted to um, um has been focused on him reaffirming his sense of justice, uh, cleaning his conscience, and he doesn't feel any remorse now for for uh, for for those for 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 the bad for that bad person that he killed in the the other world. He doesn't feel that anymore. Okay, nananig na sa kanya ang justicia. So overall. It's a good episode. And, okay, <clears throat> they were about, they introduced the fifth member of their, uh, of their team. Okay. Pero, hindi pa siya formal na ini-introduce sa grupo. Alright? He was just given a, um, I think both of them, actually both him and Yotsuya were given this quest. Okay? So, the pace, the flow, and kumbaga, hindi na dinamin ng Game Master yung mga ibang kasama niya, yung tatlong babae. <clears throat> the Game Master just uh, let them live their lives. Live, uh, live normally muna. Pinukos yung muna attention niya kay Yotsuya. And I have a very good feeling, and I have a very good feeling why. Explain to, explain to you guys later. Plot! Yup. It felt like a it felt like a setup episode. I'll tell you why again later, uh, a little bit later. So, I'm standing on one million lives finale. What about? Okay. <clears throat> it's not that. Uh, it's not magnanimous enough to give it the. To, for me to give it the two thumbs up. It's a decent finale and based on the teaser, it's a it's a really good setup for season 2. <laughs> okay? It, it was a good setup for season 2. May papasok na naman silang bagong member, bagong, bagong kasama, lalaki naman. So, wow. Alright? Wow. Simply wow. But it's not enough. Uh, no, I don't. I could not call it a weak finale. But it felt like a transition between a uh, between a finale and a pilot. Okay. Parang ganun eh. Ganun naglalaro yung yung feelings ko ngayon for this episode. Okay? So that's why I gave it that's why I gave it that rating. Do, doon kasi naglalaro. All right? Um, at that point, parang it felt na hindi pa tapos to eh. eh hindi pa tapos ang anime na to. Ayun nga. Okay. So, it has been teasered and confirmed season 2 will be next year. July. Okay. July 2021. So, it's a good finale. Pero, it's not um, it's not slam bang enough so to, so to speak. For uh, for the two thumbs up, okay. It's a 
I could call it a decent finale kasi um, nag-conscience nag-conscience check yung isang bida rito eh yung pinaka bida rito si Yotsuya right nag-conscience check siya rito and um, help uh, a future member of their group to realize na hindi 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 sa lahat ng pagkakataon pwede kang pumating ng tao right And I think, well, I think, well, um, Yotsuya, um, what's called this, increase that guy's chances of joining their team. Kasi yun ang pagkaka-explain niya. If I am going to sacrifice a little bit for, for my friends, just to increase their chances of winning their quest, I would do it. So, basically, yun na sinasabi niya sa Game Master. So, So the game master figured, okay. So he wins the quest. He wins. He wins this quest. Kumbaga, it's a it's a test of his conscience, talaga. This episode was a test for his conscience. Okay. You can't be, you can't be guilty all the time. Okay? You can't have a guilty conscience all the time. Kumbaga, the moral lesson of this episode. Don't. Don't feed a guilty conscience for too long. Okay? Just hold yourself accountable and move on. That's the moral lesson of this episode. Now, I just realized it now. So again, I'm standing on one million lives. Season one finale? Yeah, because season two was, has already been announced. Ay, sorry. <laughs> one tamam lang. One tamam lang. I told you it's not a... It's not that slam bang enough eh, for the two thumbs up. So, paano yung mga lifestyle? It has, again, it has already been announced. Season 2 will be on will be on July 2021. Okay? So, medyo tinisyo na rin yung mga what to expect with Season 2. Okay, so, when it comes to 1 million lives, see you then mga lifestyle. And, thank you to the creators of this anime. Talagang, um, you gave us an alternative to such, uh, such hyped up isekais like, uh, Rising of the Shield Hero, ReZero, lalong lalo na. Okay? For me, it's an overrated anime. And, um, the time I got reincarnated as a slime, yeah, yan yung mga three, yan, yan, those are the three hyped up isekais right now. Okay? Those are the three hyped up isekais. Right? So you gave us a really good alternative in one million lives. Ako, personally, talaga nagustuhan ko storya. Although there were, there were this, there were these kinds of episodes in, uh, in its, uh, in its, uh, in its inaugural season. But eh, it's, a, it's a good anime. It's a good alternative to this, to all this, uh, to this, uh, to these three hype up easy guys, right? So guys, if I were you. If you've grown tired of ReZero, Shield Hero, or Slime, okay, try 1 million lives. Okay, try 1 million lives. After all, there will be a season 2 next year. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 29. Alright, so... <clears throat> Wow, okay. What? The Machine uh, the machine Cavalry Duel Club is... Uh, well, I think it's doing its darndest to... to discredit Rush Duels in a way. And they got caught like practices, okay? Explain ko mamaya. The duel here had an unfortunate end kasi yung isang alalay ni Gakoto eh natalo. Because if they lose to... to the... Machine Cavalry Duel Club, they become members of that club. Alright? So, yung nga nangyari. Then, okay. The final scene ended when uh, when Kaizo realizes that he has a mission. That he has a mission to accomplish. Nakalimutan na niya sa galit niya kay, kay Sebastian na alertuhin si Sebastian at saka yung isang uh, human manager na ganun nga nangyari. Someone dug a, someone dug a really deep, deep cliff around the training camp. 
So, so, so natrap sila, natrap sila Yuga doon. Natrap yung apat doon. Nakalimutan na niya kasi nag-away sila ni Sebastian eh. Right? Grabe. Overall, it's a uh, what? It's a good episode. It's a good episode. <clears throat> This reminds me a lot of um, GX Season 2 where uh, Sartorius You guys remember Sartorius, yung manager ni Edo Phoenix na pinagtatalo lahat ng pinagtatalo lahat ng bata sa Duel Academy even Manjome even as Ane even Manjome para makapagbuo siya ng sarili niyang kulto okay? literal na kulto ito lahat sila nakaputi although yung, yung design ng uniform prescribed ng Duel Academy ganun na ganun din dito alright That's how uh, what's called this. That's how the duel in this epi- the duel in this episode went down. Okay. Bigla bigla ako oh, naging member yung intelong assistant ni Gaho to sa biglang biglang naging member na ng Machine Cavalry Duel Club. Okay? Because natalo sila. Eh. Natalo yung babae na may crush pa niya kay Yuga. <laughs> May crush din pala si Yuga. Ano ba, Yuga, ano ba sikreto natin dyan? <laughs> But anyway, so, it's a good episode. And, well, obviously, the enemy has finally made its move. Tapos, uh, kinakaibigan pa yung apat. Alright? Tigas ng mukha nyo. After, after i-pirate nyo yung dalawang, yung, yung dalawang assistant ni Gako to sa inyo. ba? Diba? So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 29. Again, my stream camera is here. Two thumbs up. Okay. Bakit? Well, it's another fan service episode because of um, because of the stipulations of the duel in this episode. Yun nga, it reminded me of GX Season 2. Yung pinakakalaban nila na si Sartorius yung manager ni Edo na pinagtatalo yung mga magagaling na duelist hanggang sa nakabuo siya ng sarili niyang kulto. Alright? Then, eventually, si, yun nga, si Manjome, tinalo si Asuka. Sumarim na ngayon si Asuka sa sa what you call this? Sa, sa kulto. Alright? Even uh, si Daisuke Misawa, tinalo rin ni Sartorius yun. Ano, tinalo ni Yeah, tinalo ni Sartorius. I I think I I forgot I forgot that. Basta yun um uh, yun ang major arc ng yun ang major arc ng GXC Yu-Gi-Oh GX season 2. Right? It's the season where where Julie got his uh got his new space chance. Okay? Na nagpalakas lalo sa deck niya. Na nagpalakas lalo sa hero. So yeah, it's a it's a fan service, it's another fan service episode and there was a card there. There was a card there that absolutely made this one another fan service episode. The card named Darkness Approaches. Okay? I have that card kaya alam ko, okay? It's a uh, it's a it's a DM era card, okay? Where hindi pa yata uso ang ano nun eh. Hindi pa yata uso ang ang mga flip monsters nandun na yun eh. And they, they recycled this one for for sevens. Okay? Uh, it's a very memorable card kasi discard to face down lahat ng kalab- face down lahat ng kalaban mo monster. Face down lahat ng monster sa kalaban mo. Face down lahat yun. And the um, the twist yeah, the twist uh, medyo medyo lang minuscule uh, minuscule in nature took a turn for the worse na dag dag na my rate <clears throat> na my rate ng kakampi ang kalaban kumuha sa mga bida okay so the pace the flow yeah unquestionable the dual script impeccable <laughs> so again Yu-Gi-Oh 7's episode 29 thumbs up Another fan service type of two thumbs up. So, next episode has been teasered. Well, ang masasabi ko lang, Yuga is up next. K 
King's Raid episode 12. What struck me about this episode is the final scene. Baldo appears, manages to hurt Frey, Castle loses it again, but this time, woo! <laughs> muntik, muntik na mapurukol si Baldo! Wow! Okay? If this is one benefit of um, unlocking the first two seals of the Holy Sword, Go, Castle, go! <laughs> Tsaka, uh, in case you didn't notice, Malduk said he is sensing the Holy Sword in Castle. Okay? Kaya siya, na, kaya siya napunta bigla uli sa uh, lugar ng mga orc. Right? Wow! But the first, the first, uh, the first 75% of the episode, medyo boring. Okay? Medyo boring. But, the final scene made it all made it all up for that, okay? It compensated it 100%. Overall, that final scene made this uh, made this episode a rather good one, right? Because, well, Castle had to prove to to everybody that he is the true heir to the Holy Sword. And he first proved that to the orcs. Okay. First major test, he passed it. Alright? He absolutely passed it. Then, the true, then, <clears throat> it was sort of confirmation um, when, when Malduk, when Malduk showed himself again to the orcs. Inga. Uh, he sensed the Holy Sword, yung pala na kay Castle. Alright? So, that is a confirmation that he is the heir. Yung nga lang, um, uh, nasaktan si Frey. Nasaktan si Frey. Nasaktan ni Maldok si Frey. Napaliw na naman sa galing si Castle, but this time, ooh! <laughs> he almost, he almost did Maldok in in this episode. Parang, ano siya May pinakuha na siya parang power na if it weren't for Maldok's quick thinking of uh, uh, being, uh, what's called this? Kung hindi siya tumakas noon, kung hindi siya nakatakas at the, at the, at the last moment, malam, malamang nadali siya nito. It created a huge crater. Okay. So after that, uh, walang mali si Castle. Right, so the pace, the flow, yep, smooth, ang pace at saka yung flow, and look, the plot, yep, very good, pero it really made me think about the first, uh, the first three fourths of this episode, medyo boring, okay. medyo boring, but the final scene, uh, the final scene compensated it okay. greatly. Tremendously. Right. So, King's Raid episode 12. One thumb up. Okay. A salvage one thumb up. Ang lakas ng bawi. Eh. Ng final scene sa episode na to. Ang lakas ng bawi. We're nearing the end of the first half of this anime. In case you didn't notice. Episode 12. Next is episode 13. So, kasi King's Raid is slated for 26 episodes. So, ang kalahati nun is 13. So, episode 13. Alright. We're nearing the... F we're nearing the end of the first half of this anime. So, medyo naging exciting na rin. Alright. Medyo naging exciting na rin. Uh, and it's all because of that final scene of this episode. So, medyo... Ano na eh? Medyo, med, I'm getting a good feeling na talaga titindiran bakbakan after episode 13. Kasi, isang scene na lang hindi, na, hindi pa na-unlock ni Castle. Isang scene, isang, uh, isang key na lang. Right? So, but bottom line, but bottom line, uh, the final scene is what salvaged this episode. It's what salvaged this episode. So again, King's Raid Episode 12. 
one thumb up. One thumb up. If, well, to tell you frankly, if the tests were a little bit more difficult, or um, Castle failed it the first time, yon baka, baka naging baka naging two thumbs up itong episode na to. Right? Baka naging two thumbs up to. Whether um, whether Maldok showed himself or not, yung final, whether the final scene happened or not, if um, Castle Castle failed it the first time, or it was it was a really difficult test, but he, but he passed it. I might have given it the two thumbs up. So next episode, yeah, let's just prepare for it. All right, let's just prepare for it. Yashahime episode 12. Well, like I said in the last review, ganun nga nangyari. The usual weakness for half demons. Okay? A, a new moon. Right? This already happened before to Inuyasha. Bukong pinaglalaro na sila niya ni... Uh, ni Konton. If this continues, it'll be a great second half of the... Uh, It'll be a great second half of the anime, right? Overall, yeah, it's a it's a really good episode. Because Sunrise dealt a, dealt a fan service moment when um, when it's a oh it's a new moon and Towa loses her powers, okay? And her uh, most of her hair became black. You know, sign it. Inuya Inuyasha's hair became black. Nagintao siya. A new moon is the only time na isang half demon nagiging nagiging ganap na tao. It's the only time that a half demon becomes uh, becomes a pure human. And bad timing. <laughs> They were after this demon. Pero nung magtataka, bakit hindi si Setsu na? Okay? A half demon ni siya, magkapati. Kambal nga eh. So, why didn't why didn't this new why didn't the new moon affect her? So, That's a question that needs to be answered in the second half, okay? So, what a way to end the first half of this anime, okay? Kasi episode 12 na eh. And, yung pace, okay, the flow, of course, vintage Inuyasha. And, you know, plot, it's, uh, well, we're, we're familiar, if you're an Inuyasha fan, we're familiar with this kind of plot. When a new moon, a new moon, when there's a new moon, or... A moonless night. Okay. Minsan, minsan kasi yun ang yun tawag sa new moon eh. Sa uh, walang, walang buwang gabi. It's a new moon. <clears throat> okay lang. Because it, because it is a fan service moment in a way. Right? So, Yashahime episode 12. One thumb up. You heard me. One thumb up. Bakit? But, Not all fan service moments are great, okay? This one was quite familiar with us Inuyasha fans. Okay? Yung on a moonless night or new moon na tinatawag, a half demon's powers, a half demon becomes a pure human. Okay? So it happened to Toa, it already happened before with Inuyasha and Narako. Okay? Yung isa nakalaban niya, si Narako. It already happened to both of them. So, medyo naging familiar kaya yung yung excitement halos wala dun eh for me. Okay, but, um, that doesn't warrant this episode a lower rating. Right? Maganda yung maganda yung naging timing ng, ng plot. So, I gave it to one thumb up pa rin. But I could not give it to two thumbs up kasi na-expect ko na eh. Okay. Na-expect ko na yung plot na yan. Um, yeah. Na-expect ko na yung plot na yun. So again, Yashahime episode 12, one thumb up. Okay. A fan service type of one thumb, thumb, one thumb up. We'll have to wait for the next episode. We'll have to wait for the second half of this anime kasi we're, we're 12 episodes down na. Okay. We're 12 episodes down. So, let's see if, um, If this anime bounces back from that. Pero, make it, uh, the animator should make it more, uh, 
Like ano kung suspense when it comes to fan service moments. Kasi um, every franchise has its own way of delivering fan service moments. Yu-Gi-Oh has its own way of delivering fan service moments. Na no, ako di ko expect minsan, alright? Pero itong nangyari kito wa. Uh, uh, I was um, what you call this? I was uh, I was expecting it a little bit. Okay, I was expecting it microscopically. Basta, let's just wait for the next episode. It's a great anime after all. Warlords of Sigurd Rifa, episode 11. Wow. Humanity and Odin, well, they just want to kill each other right now. Alright? Uh, final battle. They've now found a solution to what their problem was during the first uh, assault on on the Mega Pillar. Yung sa, yung malabas dun from Mount Fuji. So, <clears throat> their aces, the four, yeah, si, uh, si Claudia, si Sonoka, Azu, at saka si Nico. So, sila ang hinuli. Sila ang hinuli. And that's where the that's where the episode ended. So halatang two part finale ito, right? Overall, yeah, it's a, it's a really good episode. Okay, considering this is part one of a two part finale, ganito na kapagsik ang ane. Upisa pa lang ng episode. Well, they're, they're gearing up for uh, they're gearing up for the battle of their lives. Yung apat, yung apat na bida rito. So, the pace, uh, I love the pace, okay? Uh, it slowly set me up for, for the final battle. Alright? Tapos yung flow, yeah, it's, it's really good also. It's really good. Although, teka, balik tayo sa pace. Medyo, may kabilisan, but hey, um, Secret Reaver is only scheduled for 12 episodes. Alright? So, medyo, uh, quite understandable. Kasi, um, they have to they had to attack simultaneously not necessarily um, converging all at Mount Fuji and then attacking from there no ginawa nila continent by continent yung mga secondary sa magre sa sa hammer throne sa hammer throne Thor yun ang yun ang yun ang pinigilan so wala siyang baka ngayon si Odin alright plot yeah okay yung plot Okay, no, okay so, Warlords of the Secret Trifa, episode 11. Two thumbs up. A modest two thumbs up. Bakit? Well, although, although it's setting up for, setting up for the finale next week, you can't deny it. It's, uh, it's a really good episode by itself. Okay? It set up the audience as to what's going to happen. Okay? But not giving too much away. Not giving too much away. And, well, Odin has become too arrogant for his own good. Okay? Claudia made that, Claudia made her point really clear by, well, by wielding her samurai and shoving it, shoving it down Odin's neck. Shoving it across Odin's neck. Right? So, Claudia, Claudia finally grew a pair in, <laughs> so to speak, okay. Claudia finally grew a pair in standing up to Odin, right? Standing up to Odin big time, okay? Talagang naglapasa siya na samurai niya. And he, she made, she made it, she made it clear to Odin that you don't want to negotiate, fine. We will kill you. We will end you here. So, kumbaga, yun ang, yun ang, Yun ang point ni Claudia in the dream. In, I think this. I think this may be the final dream sequence of the anime. All right. So again, World of the Secret Trifa episode eleven. Two thumbs up. All right. Scenes from the final episode ha, did not weren't were not teasered. Okay. Ang pinakita scenes from previous episodes. Kung mga pag kung mga pahapyo na pinakita yung first eleven episodes. So, we got no choice, okay? We are now compelled 
to watch the final episode, which uh, which I love, okay? Uh, episode 11 is definitely part 1 of a two-part finale. So, yeah, I will watch it. So, dapat panoorin nyo rin, ha? Jujutsu Kaisen episode 12 <clears throat> Okay <laughs> Okay So Sukuna is at, his, is at his asshole self again Okay He refuses to help Itadori um, Heal si uh, no? Si Jutei Right so, Then Makito so, Shows up and mocks him So Boom He snaps Talaga nagpakita na ng sarili niya kasi itaturo sa episode na to. Then, of course, uh, medyo medyo lumawang sa laban si uh, Mahito. Nanami, Sage Guy, finally got his name right, interferes. So, final scene. Mo, mukhang magsasalip ko rin sila against Mahito. Okay? Mukhang magsasalip ko rin sila. Overall, it's a it's one hell of an episode. Okay? It's one hell of an episode. You know, you fight scenes that take up that take up one whole episode are probably uh, it's a rarity these days. Not since not since Dragon Ball Z. Okay? Not since Dragon Ball Z. That, that, that we've seen uh an entire an entire episode is one big uh one big fight scene right so then they face okay they flow for a for a fight episode okay for a fight episode and it was uh the, the script for the episode nice nice they least a cliche there there are there are no cliches that were uttered in this episode, all right? And uh, and the way and the way Sukuna refused uh, refused to help Itadori, okay? I did not expect that. Sixty percent, sixty percent. Did you expect John? I didn't even expect for for Sukuna to respond, all right? So talagang. Uh, him showing himself kahit, kahit bibig lang so sa may uh, may may pack sila ni Itadori ngayon and uh, according to him Itadori has forgotten about it alright so which makes it which makes this episode a lot more interesting okay I am now more interested than ever kung anong pa ang ang, ang pinaso ni Itadori for Nila Itadori at ni Sukuna. Alright? I really want to know. Lalo ako na curious nung sinabi ni... Nung, nung sinabi ni Sukuna yun. That... Uh, that Itadori... That, that Itadori for, completely forgot about their pack in this episode. So! Jujutsu Kaisen episode 12? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. I got a conspiracy theory regarding this, uh, regarding what uh, Sukuna said. It's probably because maybe it's maybe there's a stipulation there that uh, that ihihil niya yung yung puso ni irreconstruct, irreconstruct niya ang puso ni Tadori. If and only if he will not be uh, he will not be this he will not be asked for help he will not be asked for help to napansin din ni Makito eh that uh, ano to he's not intent he's not intent on healing others so yun ba may clue na eh maybe maybe there's a stipulation in their path that once Sukuna reconstructs Itadori's heart he will uh he has every right to refuse him. He has, he has every right to refuse to refuse any help. He has the right to refuse any help. 
And he did. He brought that's why. Kasi kaya kaya ganun na sinabi niya. Itadori completely forgot about their past. Siguro, that's my conspiracy theory, ha? That is, maybe that's, that's exactly what the pack was, what, uh, what the pack was all about. His refusal to help when Itadori asks him or not. Right, but that, that, that's just my theory, alright? That's just my opinion. We'll have to, we'll have to watch the rest of the episode, which we've already concluded the first half of the run. And Daniel, Jujutsu Kaisen is slated for 24 episodes. So nakalahati na tayo mga ka lifestyle. We're now done with the first half of, of this, of this anime's run. We're going into the second half now. And part two of this fight. So, that makes it more exciting. Okay, that makes the second half of this one more exciting. So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 12. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. So well, we'll just have, we'll just have to wait for the next episode on what what is going to happen to Mahito. Right? It's easier now, but I don't want to believe it. Okay? Ang babaw lang eh. Ang babaw na teaser eh. So I'm not going to believe it. We'll just have we'll just have to wait for that. Moriarty the Patriot Finale Right What a way to end This anime With a case okay. Siyempre, well uh, We all know from From the previous episode na Pinagbibintakan si Watson Na pumatay dito sa And we found out in this episode na Alahero pala to A jeweler During uh, Victorian England times they are held in high esteem because at that time, I think that was probably I think that was during those times that the uh, the idea of investing in jewelry started, right? Basically because basically because the jewelers back then are really good sellers. Okay, they know how to sell, so they probably saw this idea that uh, jewelry is an investment. Well, but anyway, you know that that's a uh, that's a that's an H box video. We're this is an otaku lifestyle video we're doing, all right? <clears throat> so eventually, Holmes and Moriarty was able to solve the case. But, Moriarty put a twist to it. Itong, itong tarantado Moriarty na to, no ba si pagka-crime consultant niya, he stained um, every single one of the crewmen's uh, uniforms with his own blood. Mga, nag-brick lang. Para lang may... May maiwan siya blood sting. Alright? But he know but he now knows who, who who the actual killer is. It's among those six crewmen. Na figure out yun ni Holmes. Now, uh, this is unbeknownst to Holmes na kumbaga ni rig ni Moriarty ang ebidensya. Nag-rig ng ebidensya si Moriarty. And he doesn't know it. But eventually, the killer confessed it was him, yung isang crewman na malaki pa ah. So eventually confessed to the crime. And who is this um, being uh, referred to being referred to by the Queen as Sir Sir Wincroft Holmes? Ba? Kala nung ini Sherlock to? No? Overall, it's a really good episode. Alright? <clears throat> Moriarty would not uh, would not um Finish this case without his, without his trade, without his trademarks. Okay, planting, fabricating evidence. All right. So, yung pace niya carried over from the previous episode. Because, well, if you ask me, this is a two-part finale. Okay? Now, that, that's just my opinion. The flow, yep. They only, have, they only had 48 minutes to to solve the case before. Before the next stop, before before the train stops at the stops at the at the nearest station, right? They only had 48 minutes, okay. 
and uh, and for Holmes to uh, to to clear Watson's name. Kasi siya nga pinagbibindahan dito eh. Siya nga pinagbibindahan. Well, the plot, yes. Okay. It's really good. It's really, really good. A plot befitting a crime anime. Okay. Befitting a finale to a crime anime. Okay. So, yun ang, yun ang masasabi ko right now. So, Moriarty the Patriot. Finale. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Now, why did I say finale? Well, we all we all know it's um, it's slated for 11 episodes, and it was initially it was initially announced that um, the second half of the second half of this anime will uh, will debut uh, will premiere in April of 2021. But no, when I checked back at my source, right. It's already entitled Moriarty the Patriot Season uh, Moriarty the Patriot Second Season So We just saw the Season 1 finale Alright So confirm na uh, Moriarty Season 2 Is on April 2021 Okay Kaya pala ganito ang ending Kaya pala Alright Pero I, I, I've seen it before but I figured, okay, how will they end season one? Assuming that, assuming that they will, that either Holmes solves the case or Moriarty aggravates it. But no, Moriarty did. Um, Moriarty solved it in his own way through a um, psychological profile. Kapag nagpaka nagfeeling profiler siya rito. Holmes, of course, forensic evidence and. Forensic and circumstantial evidence, yun ang naging pasiyan niya. But together niya, they were able to they were able to catch the killer. But Moriarty, the uh, the villain that he is, he planted his evidence of his he planted evidence of his own. All right. So again, Moriarty the Patriot finale. Two thumbs up. All right. I'm gonna make this announcement right now, okay? I will be reviewing season two of Moriarty because, wow, okay? They gave, still, uh, Production IG gave us a really good anime this fall, okay? Do you know Production IG, the the, the people behind Psychopaths? Yep, they, they, they're not just known right now. They are not known right now for Psychopaths. They are known for Moriarty the Patriot. So, overall, since this is the finale, it's, yeah, it's a fucking good anime. <laughs> it's a fucking good anime. Alright? I'm not saying this because, uh, because I have, uh, because I am a casual fan of, the, of Sherlock Holmes. I'm a casual fan of, uh, of the books by Arthur Conan Doyle. Alright? I'm not saying this because uh, I've read some Sherlock Holmes books in my time. I am saying this because I am an otaku. I am a seasoned anime fan. Right? The crime genre never has never been this diabolical. Okay? Moriarty the Patriot up the ante when it comes to the crime genre. Alright? They up the ante with this one. So, and they say Great Pretenders, the number one anime of, 20, of fall 2020. Ah, ah, ah! <coughs> You do not know the crime genre. I've been a I've been a casual fan of the crime genre since Lupin the Third. All right, so I know a thing or two about the crime genre. Moriarty the Patriot is another level. All right, we are dealing with Sherlock Holmes's arch enemy here, and um, through its uh, through its creator, we see we now we now know how Moriarty thinks. Basically, there's more. There's more to Moriarty than meets the eye, Kumbaga. And yeah, I am so looking forward to season two. I am so looking forward to reviewing that season. So, so guys, see you in Moriarty season two.
Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 3. <clears throat> Not another backstory episode. Well, all I can say about this episode is... Yeah. More backstories. Alright. Can we just get on to the to uh, to the actual to the actual plot of this entire season? Overall, it's I thought Mappa. Well, in fairness to them, I thought Mappa would pull through after after my review of episode two. But who am I for them to listen? Right? No. You the flow and the pace. <clears throat> yeah, but. We've already dealt with the backstory in episode 2. And there's another backstory again. I think I've wasted my time in this episode. So, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 3. I hate to do this, but... There you go, folks. It is the first time I have given an anime episode the one thumb down. Right? Because it's only 16 episodes and and you plan to go out with a bang. Right? This is your final season. You know, personally, if it's a if it's a backstory episode, if it's a backstory episode, yeah, do it. Do one every uh do one every uh, every six to seven, every six to seven episodes, because well, it's like it's like Yu-Gi-Oh brains all over again, right? <clears throat> because uh, during season season one of Yu-Gi-Oh brains, there is a backstory episode, okay? a backstory or a recap episode every three episodes. Oh my God, all right? Mappa, are you going to repeat what what Studio Gallop did with Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains? Season 1? It's the final season of Attack on Titan. And you're... And you're going to uh, pull out back-to-back -back backstory episodes? I understand, but... I understand where, uh, where Reiner's go... Where, where uh, Reiner's driving at with this... Uh, with his own side of the story, but... We all get it. How he how he got on the island, how he infiltrated the way of life of Eren and uh, and the other lead pro tags here. Right? From the start, he was a traitor. Okay? From the from the very start, from the get-go. So the way I see it, you don't have to rub it in our faces. Okay? No one, I think, I think, okay, I think. No one likes Reiner right now after what he did in season 3. Right? No one likes him right now. No no AOT fan likes him right now. And you're trying to present him as a what an anti-hero? I don't think so. I've seen Chronicle and I totally get what kind of uh, what kind of a sympathizer Reiner is. And he should go down. Okay? And he must be taken down. So again, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 3. Let's just wait for the for, for the next episode, okay? Okay. Ikibukuro Westgate Park Finale. Wow. Okay. For for an anime that is so relatable, I never thought this would be the ending. I never thought this would be the ending. I say, well, it, it 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 almost ended as a gang war. Okay, pero the real perp, the real perp. Okay, yun ang short for short for perpetrator in Japan. The real perp uh, was uh, was. What you call this? Uh, has been uh, has been found okay, by Maoto himself. Okay, he even staged his own, his own death. Galing. I don't know how I don't know how is 
I don't know how he was able to switch guns. Pero na-pull off niya. Akala to ni Isugay, totoong baril yun. Totoong bala ang nasa loob. Yung bala, um, kung maga, bloodshots lang. They're called bloodshots kasi uh, ang dulo nun, kapag tumama sa, kapag tumama sa katawan, puputok. So, may lalabas sa, may lalabas sa parang dugo na kulay na liquid. So, mga props. Props lang pala. <clears throat> and, um, wow. Okay? The Red Angels and the G-Boys almost, they almost killed each other in this episode. Talaga. As in, pati mga leaders, kay si Kyoichi, tsaka si King. King, um, King came out of consciousness. Then, several hours later, he's in the thick of the fight. Then, oh! Makoto exposes Isugai. Then, it's all done. <laughs> At yung, ano eh, uh, there was one moment there na nakantig sa puso. Kasi, there was this little girl who tried to kill King. Eh, may dalang kutsilyo talaga. Sinaksak si King. But King did not, um, King did not retaliate. Talagang nagpasaksak siya. Alright? Um, wow. Alright? Talagang, hats off ako kay King dito. Hats off ako sa karakter na to. Um, despite all the violence, all the all the craziness going on, despite what's happened to him, he hindi siya nagpadaig sa galit. Hindi siya nagpadaig sa galit. Uh, sa galit ng sa galit ng batang yun. He allowed that kid to stab him. And yun nga, nagbilin pa nga kay Mako to eh. Pag, pag ako, pag ako namatay, ikaw na maglilinir sa G-Boys ha. Huwag ka na magre-reklamo. <laughs> okay. Uh, in, a, in a sense. Yeah, I just translated in Filipino. All right. Overall, it is a really good finale. Hey, okay? it's a really good finale. Talagang Makoto pulled through as Ikibukuro's uh, most famous trouble. Talagang troubleshooter. Talagang na nasa ijo troubleshooting skills yari to. All right. He prevented another gang war for the uh, one two. For the third time, ito yung pinakamatindi. Ano, nagkabos sila nga pa na yung gang war. He made, he stopped a gang war. Okay, he stopped a gang war all by himself. And of course, clear his name. Ang galing. Pace, flow, yup. Even if you're a, uh, even if it's your first time watching this anime, you watch the finale, magigets mo kagad eh. Magigets mo kagad. Alright? It, um, The finale is so artistic in nature. Na, and it's so easy to understand. Okay, I tell you. Kahit uh, bago ka pa sa anime na to, even if you watch the finale, magigets mo ang nangyari in the previous episodes. Magigets mo talaga. So, Ikibukuro Westgate Park finale, two thumbs up and a big toe. Yeah. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big toe. Okay, so um, what can I say about the entire series? Fucking good. Okay. If you love this anime like I did, you got taste. Okay. You are an otaku of culture. Right? This is the real dark horse of Fall 2020. Okay. I don't care what anybody says now. It's not Moriarty the Patriot. It's not even Akodama Drive. Okay, they're both they're both great animes. But when it comes to when it comes to relatability and um, relevance, okay, talaga true to life ang tema ng anime na to. The um the the incidences that happen that happened here happens also in real life. All right. This is probably the most relatable anime you uh, 2020 has ever produced. Okay? But sadly no one talks about it right now. No one talks about it. Hey, okay? it makes me sad, okay? I've been an anime fan for 42 years. I've been an anime fan for 42 years, but never have I but what well, 
an anime like this comes every comes once every generation it comes once every generation nasabi ko sa inyo in terms of relatability and uh, true to lifeness you gotta watch this one okay? do not miss out on Ikebukuro Westgate Park or IG, IWGT right before ilang, ilang, ilang araw na lang ba before 2021 you only got 7 days to binge watch the entire to watch this entire anime alright so again Ikebukuro Westgate Park finale two thumbs up the most relatable two thumbs up I have ever given so well may hint na baka magkaroon ng isa pang season to okay Makoto Majima's job as Ikibukuro's most famous troubleshooter is not yet done talagang may hihingi pa rin sa kanya ng tulong alright and siguro the animators would probably um, would probably uh, they can probably uh, create another season for it based on that okay Kasi ang, ang buong anime na to, it's based on the novel itself. Right? It's based on the novel itself. It, well, it had a good run. And I believe it stuck true to the original story of the novel. Right? So, for me, well, well I'm hoping they, they, would, they would give me a season 2 of this, I would watch and review that. Because I know it's going, this is a quality anime and it deserves to have a season 2. Noblesse episode 12. Wow, okay. Three separate uh one, two, okay, two separate fight scenes. Okay, uh three separate if you count if you count Sarah say Sarah and uh, Rosarias. Sarah versus Rosaria. So, Sarah loses. Um, Regis loses, and Frankenstein is up, up against the um, up against the brothers. Okay. Yung mga anak ng tinalo niyang clan leader nun. Okay. So wow. Okay. Instead of um, letting uh, letting allowing Royal to to have his way with uh, with RK4 with the rest of RK4 alright RK4 Rizal's Knights as Tao would call themselves RK4 sounds like a boy band I don't know it sounds like a boy band alright but anyway so instead of um, uh, going instead of letting them go going go after going after those three inigilan ni Frankenstein and in in a way, challenges both of them to the fight. Ganito kaanga si Frankenstein. And to think, okay, servant lang siya ni Rizel. <laughs> the way I see it, okay, the way I see it, he is, he is a direct extension of Rizel's power. Kasi nung, as we, we all know, hindi pa siya, hindi pa siya servidor ni hindi pa siya right hand man ni Rizel, malaas na siya. He has killed nobles before. Okay? He has killed some nobles before. Kaya alam niya kung paano patayin ang mga yan. <clears throat> so, yun nga, sinabi nga ni Rizel, um, aren't, you gonna, aren't you gonna do something? So, kumbaga, nag-gets na ni, na na ni Frankenstein yun. Tulungan mo yung mga kasama natin. Ako lang bahala sa sarili ko. Alang ganon. So, overall, right? It's a really good episode. Especially yung uh, the final scene, <laughs> which was fun to watch. <laughs> I never thought Rizel would lose his way inside that castle. Eh, madalas na nandoon kasi pina pinapatawag siya kasi ng previous lord para siya, may kausapin. Um, Ingganyuhin na palitan siya bilang lord, but he, constant, he consistently refuses the, uh, the position. Okay. So, I never thought he would get lost. Pero, ano niya eh, 
uh, ano yun, natanggal na yung usual na suot eh. Ang pumalit yung yung pang noble na suot niya. Eh. Alright? So, bumalit na yung pagka nobles niya. And he said, Oh, wrong room. <laughs> what's with what's with Rizel and this um uh and these uh, and these funny moments he gets into without breaking a smile, okay? Without breaking a grin, he breaks he um he cracks he cracks something like this. All right? Now, don't get me wrong. Hindi lang 'yan ang magandang scene rito. The pace, the flow, yo, okay, yung plot Maganda yung naging start ng episode. They were really after, they were really going, uh, going, uh, going to the castle. Pero may plano na sila. So, naging diversion si M21 tsaka si Regis. True enough, dumating si Ryle. Okay? Distraction complete. <clears throat> It's a really good episode. Fight scenes, funny moments and all. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Good bit siya talaga ano eh, Comedy uh, Suspense and action Now, we don't know kung talagang na, Napatay na ng current lord si ano eh, Si Gadgetel We'll have to find that out in the finale So, Noblesse episode 12 Two thumbs up Alright <clears throat> We are now down To the finale next week if you may recall I'll, I'll, I'll help you recall Noblesse is slated for 13 episodes not 12 ala ano siya uh, actually the Holy Trinity of Manwa okay all three of them ran for 13 episodes okay Tower of God um, God of High School and Noblesse okay and now Noblesse so lahat sila 13 episodes which makes it um uh, Well, it's a really good anime. I don't know why people, uh, why some people are not um, are not enticed by the by, by this anime storyline. Ang unique eh. It's really unique. Okay. Uh, and each episode is a good mix of action, comedy, and uh, a little bit of suspense. Right. <clears throat> there are back there are backstory episodes pero you could not even call it a backstory episode kasi ano siya um it has that consistent feel with the with, uh, with the previous and a future episode all right it does not feel it does not feel like a true backstory episode unlike attack on titan final season episode 3 ugh Back-to-back backstory episodes. Come on! Ang asawa yung ganun eh. I would rather... Um, I would rather watch... Uh, what you call this? I would rather watch a, uh, a redundant mini-arc than back-to-back backstory episodes. Right? Kaya nga backstory eh. Pwedeng i-express. So, so to, just to help... Just to help the viewer. Okay? Just to help the viewer comprehend... What is going on in the present? All right, you. Jan daig ng nobles ang attack on Titan. I hate to compare, but the pre, but final season, but uh, AOT final seasons, uh, latest episode, just forced my hand into this. All right, this episode of Nobles is a very good mix of action, comedy, and suspense, and. Lana, wala nang backstory backstory dito it's now concentrated on how the anime will end there Noblesse is done with backstories okay the last backstory it did was was of Frankenstein's so yun, yun pa lang excited okay uh, I feel content na as a viewer yun lang yun so again Noblesse episode 12 two thumbs up right I just cannot wait for the finale next week. <clears throat> mukhang, mukhang my wish for Rizel versus um, Reskria. Si Reskria pala. Rizel versus Reskria, the, the current lord. Uh, and yet, I, 
I hope I got her name right. So Sereskaya. Ryzen versus Reskaya is about to come true. Okay? Akala ko pa naman, akala pa naman talaga pipigilan ni Ryzen yung pag pagpatay kay Gedjotel eh. Yung pala nagkamala siya ng kwarto. Oh my God. Ryzen and his Ryzen and his uh, sudden quips. There. It's hilarious. Okay? It's really hilarious. Ako Dama Drive Finale Putang inang yan Talk about um, Wow Armageddon Ako Dama Style <laughs> Well the, At least the kids are now safe Okay So At least those kids are now safe Yung nga lang Lahat sila puro patay na okay. No lead character Is now alive Alright and wow okay even in the afterlife even in the afterlife hacker wreaks havoc siya <laughs> <clears throat> yung siya yung nagpaano yun siya yung na tawag dito nag broadcast ng yung pagkakapatay kay ordinary person siya yun ala tayo kasi yung mukha ng drone mukha ng mga drone niya yun na naka picture sa screen it's him it might be his, um, his final act of heroism, yun. So, he, yeah, he was a hero, right? And, as a result, well, the moment he, the moment he shut down the power grid of Kansai, it's, all hell broke loose. Talagang mga ano eh. Wala na sila nagawa. Wala na nagawa mga executioner. Wala. Talagang pinag, uh, uh, the people revolted against them. Kansai is no man's land right now. So, um, well, fortunately, ordinary person and courier are now dead. So, pero mission accomplished. Na naitakas si courier ng mga bata. At least, well, they did something good, right? They've been branded as criminals for the longest time. This is probably uh, the only good deed they've done. Uh, tulungan itong dalawang bata na sana iaanay sa kanto. Yeah, that's a... It's a bit sad, pero... Wow! Alright? Overall! <clears throat> one of the best finales this year. One of the best finales to. Okay? And, notwithstanding the fact that all the lead characters died in this anime, Walang, wal, walang nabuhay sa kanila. Not, not a single one. Just, just to, just to make sure those two kids, um, uh, they seek, uh, uh, they, as they run to safety. Okay? As long as na mga, as long as na may, may itakas nila yung dalawang batang yun. So, wow, okay? <clears throat> this is the first time I have seen an anime where all the lead characters died in the when when uh, after it ended. Kasi ang ang huling namatay si Courier. Eh. Sa ang huling namatay dito. Then of course the ordinary person uh, her death which was caught on which was caught on film, okay? Which was caught on video nakita ng buong Kansai. So, another uprising, siya ang nag-trigger ng pangalawang uprising that ultimately brought down Kansai. So, let me say, um, and here's something ominous. You seen that, <clears throat> you seen the, what's called this? That pile of rubble na kung saan, kung saan doon siya pinuhug ng, ng isang exec, yung execution na pumatay sa kanya. It's in, it's like a crucifix. Alright? Now, that is creepy. <laughs> Alright? Kumaga, um, symbolically, it became, um, she was uh, she was wrongfully crucified. Right? Proverb, proverbially, okay? Essentially, she was wrongfully crucified. Wrongfully executed. So, yun na naging interpolation ng mga tao. 
They rose up again against the against the executioners. Chaos. All right. All hell broke loose. Kansai becomes no man's land. So, wow. Okay. <clears throat> the pace, the flow, talagang pang finale siya. Okay. Talagang pang finale siya. All right. Grabe. I tell you, one of the best finales this year. And I don't give a fuck what everybody else is saying. And I don't, and I, I, and I won't give a fuck, okay, what, uh, what other YouTubers, streamers, or even anime critics would say. This is one of the best finales this year. So, Akudama Drive finale? Two thumbs up. And a big toe. Like that, two big toes. <laughs> two thumbs up and two big toes. Kulang pa kaya yan eh. <laughs> Kulang pa kaya yan eh. I, I thought, wow. Grabe. Talagang, Akodama Drive went, uh, ended with a bang. Yun nga lang, namatay lahat ng lead characters dito. Just to save those two kids. <clears throat> Just to save those two kids. <clears throat> kasi, kasi nga naman eh. You, you nurture two smart kids only to be fed to a computer. Ha? Huh? Only to be fed to a computer? Well, it doesn't make sense. Okay? It's illogical. So, yun ang... I think yun ang um, common ground nila ordinary person, ni courier, at ni hacker. Right? Yun ang, yun, yun ang naging common ground nilang tatlo. Kaya sila nagkasundo eh. Na, well, we gotta help these kids. Ano ba to? <clears throat> eh, siguro, eh, siguro it's, of, it's okay to, uh, to sacrifice adults. Pero these are just kids. Oo nga, henyo. Ay, they cannot die. They're immortal. Pero they're just, they're still kids. Iaali mo sa sila ng ganun-ganun na parang, uh, like you're, like you're just, like you're you're going to offer them like uh like uh like rams slit their throats then offer it to God those days are gone yung tao ito hindi naman hayop eh talaga ano maganda maganda talaga ang Akodama Drive overall ha as a, as an as a series maganda talaga I would strongly recommend this cyberpunk anime to any other cyberpunk fan so again Ako dama drive finale. Two thumbs up. Whoa. Biggest two thumbs up I have ever given. Studio Piro, thank you for giving us another great anime. Talagang woo. You are an absolute legend when it comes to animation studios. Okay, Studio Piro, grabe kayo. You um. You absolutely over-delivered with Akodama Drive. My hats off to you guys. And to all the animators uh, who are working for you. Talagang, let me do this again. Woo! Let me do this again. Woo! 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 Alright? Again, thank you, Studio Pero, for giving us another great anime. So, to all the Cyberpunk fans out there, okay? To all the fans of, the, of that particular genre, I strongly suggest if you miss the finale of Akodama Drive, well, I strongly suggest you binge watch it. Sulit ang oras nyo. Your time, okay? Your time will be worth it when you watch this anime. Higurashi 2020, episode 13. Um, the most, uh, probably the most socially conscious arc I've ever, uh, I've ever watched ends in tragedy. Keiichi kills Satoko's uncle. Then after, then the day after he gets hit in the head himself by Satoko's uncle. That, that's how, that's how we, uh, 
that's how he got triggered to killing him. Then yun na, um, Rena broke the news to him. Remember the, uh, remember the cop, the fat belly cop, si Uishi, mo korap ngay. He gunned down most of the gang. Ang um, natira lang, ang natira lang nga si Keiichi at si Rena. But Keiichi was uh, was not there. Rena was Rena wasn't also there, according to her story. So overall, it's uh wow, okay. <clears throat> uh, it's a really good episode, okay. The violence is there, okay. The violence is back, okay. Let's add it to that series. The violence is back, and wow, okay. I thought all will end well with this arc, Satoko's arc, but wow, the the kill scene destroyed all that, okay. The kill scene destroyed all that. Um. There's nothing creep. There was nothing creepy in the whole, the majority of this episode. Just that, all right. And um, kaya pala nag um, tinoso di sapa ko nang ganon si Kichi. I think she had, um, I think she had a very good idea of what um, of what her uncle and Uishi would do. Kasi hinuli na siya, ni rescue si sapa ko. And at the same time. They arrest. Uh, they arrest the. Uh, they arrest that piece of shit, right? So go to magkakonchab. Go to nagka nag nagkonchabahan si yun uncle niya, cah si Uishi, para makagante. So yeah, they weren't able to kill Kichi and Rena, but they managed to kill the rest of the gang. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Uh, with everything uh, that has happened in this arc. Uh, all this. The ending couldn't be more tragic. All right, the ending could not be more tragic. Oh, I did not expect that kind of an ending to to that kind of an arc, a socially conscious arc at that. So, Higurashi 2020 episode 13. Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. We just entered the second half of. Uh, Of of this reboot. In case you in case you guys haven't noticed, because we're already done with the first 12 episodes, so uh, this marks the second half. This starts the second half of the show. So yeah, they started out in a big way. Okay. Started out in a very tragic way, to be specific, to be exact. They started out in a very tragic way. I, I'm I'm looking forward to to the other arcs of this reboot, right? Looking forward to it, but for me, this is one of the best arcs I have ever seen. Believe it or not, All right? Because uh, who would who would expect an ending so as tragic as that to a socially conscious arc, right? <clears throat> Oishi was true to his was true to his word when he said in that episode that. Be careful. Be careful who you make enemies with. But who's the more powerful enemy? The cops or the Sonosakis? Eh, mga pilate niya, uh, ang mga pilate niya, yung kambal na tagapagmana, okay, the twin heirs of the Sonosaki clan. He guns them down. Then two of their friends, he guns them down. And and his cohort, that piece of shit of an uncle, almost killed Keiji. But he ends up dead. He was the one who ends up. He was the one who ended up dead. I never knew KG had it in him. Okay, <clears throat> I never knew KG had it in him. Uh, an 11 year old kid that have that has um, that already has that um, either you or him mindset. Atako <laughs> To me, that's scary. That can creep the hell out of me. Right. That can creep the hell out of anybody, actually. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 13. Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. Can't wait for the next arc, which will which will start in the next episode.
can I say? I'm speechless during the first during the first few seconds of this uh, outro. It's been a good week uh, of animes, anime finales that is. As you've gone through this video, I'm sure you've noticed already, four animes made their finales this week. So we were able to review them all. And um, despite um, everything that has happened this week, personally, I was able to pull through with all of them. Especially the ones that um, that were streamed uh, last Friday on Twitch. We bid our farewells to these four animes. Akodama Drive. Moriarty the Patriot. I'm Standing on One Million Lives. And Ikebukuro Westgate Park. Right. I've had, um, I've had a blast reviewing those four animes. I don't subscribe to hype that easily. Okay. As a um, senior member of the Philippine anime community, uh, I've learned not to I've learned not to um, submit myself to to hype all the time. If there's a synopsis I can read, I'll read that. Then give my uh, objective decision as to as to if I'm going to watch this anime or not. All right. So again, um, thank you, Mahaka Lifestyle, for watching this digest. And we're now down to just one digest before we um, before we conclude this volume of uh, the of our anime reviews. So one more. As early as um, this week, we are saying goodbye to the fall anime season because, well, as I said before. Four animes made their finales this week. So, it's time to say our goodbyes to the fall anime season, which I truly believe is one of the best fall anime seasons of all time. Alright? And, thank you for sticking out with this video up to this point. And as you know, if you want to see these reviews live and while I'm, while I'm doing them, There's my, uh, there's my Twitch username. Follow me so that you can watch me do these reviews live. Okay. Live and uncut. So, till next time, guys.